The truth is out. A kitty tragedy will like killers make terrible confession. In a shocking development, Baboga, a husband implicated in the murder of two traditional rulers in Ikole, Ekiti State, made a confession detailing the operation during a press parade led by the Assistant Inspector General of Police, AIG Dare Ogundari, the victims Onimojo of Imojo and election of Eshu Ekiti for victim to Baboga and four accomplices who also perpetrated the kidnappings of five pupils three teachers and a bus driver from the Apostolic Faith group of schools. Baboga, who was under the threat by his assets, reluctantly became part of the criminal operation. The assailant, known for the involvement in previous kidnappings for ransom, unexpectedly encountered the vehicle carrying the traditional relics in the bush. Despite claiming that he had not intended to kill the monarchs, Baboga admitted that his assets opened fire, resulting in the tragic death of the rulers. The herdsman implicated in this heinous crime had previously received 5,000 naira from a previous, a previous kidnapping. Baboga arrest occurred when he ventured into the town to purchase Gary. The police, working in tandem with various security agencies, successfully apprehended him in the forest during Ayedigu and Ebudi, while Baboga provided a confession. Ongoing efforts were being made to apprehend his four accomplices. The IIG disclosed further arrests made at the Okeoshun, Bia Ekiti, Igbooka, and the Iju Ikere boundary forest, all linked to the mothers. Despite the successful release of their doctor school pupils and teachers, the rescue operation did not yield any additional arrests. The police reiterated. The police reiterated their commitment to discouraging ransom payment emphasizing their dedication to bringing all perpetrators to justice. Commending the swift intervention of the Inspector General of Police and Ekiti State Governor in securing the release of the pupils and teachers, AIG Dari Ugundari underscored the ongoing endeavors to ensure that all involved in the criminal activities face the full force of the law. In conclusion, the incident highlights the intricate challenges faced by the law enforcement in addressing criminal activities within specific regions, emphasizing the need for a comprehensive approach to curb such atrocities. All right, you see this thing now, you see what is going on here. Hmm? Are you seeing what is going on here? They gave somebody 5,000 for kidnapping. As in, I cannot even wrap my head around it. 5,000. Then, because they're commenting the sweet intervention of the Inspector General of Police and the Kitty State Governor in securing the release of the pupils and teachers, AIG Dari Gundari underscored the ongoing endeavors to ensure that all those involved in the criminal activities face the full wrath of the law. In conclusion, this incident highlights the intricate challenges faced by law enforcement in addressing criminal activities within specific regions, emphasizing the need for a comprehensive approach to curb such atrocities. Can you imagine? Do you see? Are you people seeing what is going on here? Are you people seeing what exactly is going on? These people, they don't get joy. They don't get any atom of joy. <laughs> 5,000 for a whole human being, a whole human being. They kidnap somebody and they give you 5,000. You say, why did you even collect? This, your story is not convincing enough. They gave you 5,000 5, and they can 5,000. Even if it is 50, even if it is 5,000. And I'm hearing that these people now, that they even actually, um, what's it called? That they... Release these people now because they have been released. They spent 15, 15 million. So inside that amount of money, let's say okay, people that plan the work, they have their share and all of that. Then what you can't reach your hand now five thousand for the first one. Ha! Now wow! Now wow! Now wow! Now wow! Uh uh. I will keep saying it that you see, eh? You cannot tell me this is the one. Yes, this person now might be a full animal. 
this particular header because this man now here this header here is a header he might be a fulani man but i want to tell you people the truth eh it is not the fulani that are actually doing this now they might be among you but they say na rats wait they for inside house they go tell the one wait they for bush say come fish there i know where my people keep fish you go carry and go show beer and keep the fish and then go chop the fish chop and finish and yes meaning they are traitors within them who are hiding under i keep saying is hiding under this umbrella of crime to perpetuate crime to do calamities and this is because they have seen that uh, the government uh, they cannot do anything if they talk too much now nah, make we no go even here say even this person will even catch now nah. maybe they catch another person they tell them say, okay they will give them five minutes and make them release yes it is very possible ha, what am i saying five minutes say what you could you know can tell them they'll give them money and they'll tell them okay then go use five person where they go is replace you and they tell you hmm. because it's not making sense anymore now they say in conclusion this incident highlights the intricate challenges faced by law enforcement in addressing criminal activities with specific regions emphasizing the need for a comprehensive approach to curb such atrocities all right well this particular issue this issue now eh, you know get as it won't be you do get as it won't be it is people that are people who are traitors people who are traitors in the community they don't want to do in this thing all right at the end of the day at the end of the day everything that is going to happen here everything that is going to happen here is a uh, what's it called everything that is happening here is disgusting it's disgusting because i don't even know how to I don't know how to even start. I don't know how to start. So at the end of the day, my own is the government should do what? And this is not a see, I'm not even look at what I'm even suggesting. The government should do the needful. But me, I'm going to say it. If the government decides to come out and go after these people now that cause this particular that, that, that are murdering these people they should use the same hand the same gloves and the same you know fist they used to treat these people to treat the bandits and the terrorists that is my own people who are unaliving people and sending them to their maker on a daily basis i've been hearing them the one that happened in plateau the one that happened in uh, which other place in just the one that happened in kaduna that is how it should be all right, on this note, you have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for tuning in to listen. Until I come your way next time, enjoy the rest of your day.